Hello everybody. Good morning. Uh, today we will present you an article uh, a case report uh, deep brain stimulation of the nucleus basalis de Maynard uh, for advanced Alzheimer disease. Uh, who write, wrote this article is uh, Zhang. He is from China. Okay. This is a, uh, Alzheimer disease uh, is a neurodegenerative dis disease. It's the most common type of dementia uh, it, uh, and it affects uh, over 20% uh, 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 million people worldwide uh, a number expected to quadruple by 2050. Patients with advanced Alzheimer's disease uh, experience cognitive impairment and physical disability in their life. Current, there are no treatments available uh, to slow down the course of the disease and the limited treatment exists only to treat symptoms. Uh, deep brain stimulation of the nucleus basalis of the energy uh, uh, has been reported to improve cognitive function in individuals with Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the degeneration of cholinergic neurons is one of the most important pathological features uh, of Alzheimer's disease and the increasing brain acetylcholine with acetylcholinesterase inhibitors can improve overall abilities uh, and cognitive function in Alzheimer's disease patients. The nucleus basalis of Maynard, uh, located in the basal forebrain, uh, is the primary source for cholinergic innervation to the neocortex and amygdala. Nucleus basalis of Maynard can be subdivided into six regions anteromedial, anterolateral, anterointermediate, intermedial dorsal, intermedial ventral, and posterior. Okay. Increasing nucleus basalis of Maynard deep brain stimulation has been used to treat patients with Alzheimer's disease. It was first performed in patients with Alzheimer's disease during 98, with positive effects on ipsilateral cerebral metabolism using positron emission tomography assessment. Who at all described uh, uh, re report the outcomes of six patients with Alzheimer's disease who were treated with bilateral low frequency DDS that target uh, intermedial dorsal, intermedial ventral, and the posterior nucleobasalis of uh, areas. In their report, patients were considered 
responders with either improvements or no chance in combination during two month follow ups. No severe or unexpected side effects were observed. They suggest that DBS might slight improve or stabilize symptoms in some Alzheimer's disease patients. However, they argue that beneficial effects of nucleobasales of minor DBS were more apparent in younger and uh, uh, lesser affected patients, and in most DBS studies have only focused on mild to moderate disease in Alzheimer's disease patients. In severely affected patients who urgently need cognitive improvement, the effects of TBS remain unknown. Description uh, The patients which uh, this study will report uh, is an 8 years old right-handed male presented at our hospital of their hospital it's not mine I don't work there I just uh, I'll present you this article uh, uh, with a 4 years decline in episodic memory and major cognitive deterioration for half a year in the four years prior to presentation, the patient had gradually begun to show a decline in memory, hesitant speech, and impaired organizational skills. He was first diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease at another hospital and treated with donepezil 5 mg a day. His symptoms remained tolerable until three years later, when he could no longer perform independent daily living activities. Uh, six months prior, uh, presentation, he could not recognize his family members and the common objects. At that time, he was being treated with donepezil, 5 mg a day, rivastigmin, 3 mg a day, and imemantin, 10 mg a day. He had a 4 years history of hypertension too that was controlled well with levantlodipine, bezilet tablet, 2.5 mg a day, and fosinopril, 10 mg a day. There was no history of psychological disease or any family related history. A clinical examination showed that he could not answer questions correctly or fluently. The magnetic resonance uh, demonstrates severe volume loss. Uh, and the, as the temporal brain region with the projections from uh, posterior showed the less beta amyloid deposition in this patient and the posterior area was easily targeted given its location relative to the anterior commissure planning colored uh, for placements of electrode lens to target uh, the posterior area of the nucleobasalis of Maynard uh, on MRI scan and a human brain atlas. The patch scan showed uh, that beta amyloid was widely deposited throughout the whole brain, uh, with the dorsal cortex having more beta amyloid than the medial temporal lobe, and indicates the end stage of Alzheimer's disease according to the Brack stage. Uh, 
In this picture, you can see a fused image uh, uh, left of the patient, post preoperative MRI and post operative CT that uh, showed that the lead arrow uh, was occurred uh, in the nucleus basalis of Maynard. This uh, here you can see the the they implanted and in blue you can see the posterior nucleus basalis of Maynard. Uh, in this CT scan you can see uh, here the uh, uh, subdural effusion uh, hematoma uh, this assess made uh, uh, Beijing uh, Titan Hospital uh, and the, uh, 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 this effusion uh, patient uh, 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 straighted conservatively uh, with reabsorption. Uh, for uh, DBS patients, uh, underwent bilateral lead placement using a rechargeable implantable pulse generation generator L301 Beijing Pins Medical Co. L LTD Beijing, China, a diameter 1.3 millimeter, electrode length 1.5 millimeter, electrode spacing 0.5 millimeter distance from the distal tip 0.5 millimeter. Brief the Lexo stereotactic system was used on the patient. An MRI scan were performed for targeting purpose. Left and right roads were drilled in the school according to the planning, the rivet coordinates, and the arc and the ring settings. You can see that the target coordinates uh, and stimulation parameters. Uh, the contact C plus one less plant hertz 90 microseconds one top five uh, volts in left hemisphere the same the, the different parameters less uh, 23.5 but the the same stimulating settings DBS stimulation began one month after surgery using a monopolar protocol based on previous studies. Turnbull et al., Dershmitt et al., and the clinical imaging results we used monopolar stimulation from the bottom contact. Uh, one less, five less. Product model 106R pins in China for this patient. The stimulus frequency and pulse, which were maintained at 20 Hz and 90 microseconds, respectively, and the starting voltage of 1 volt was gradually increased to 1.5 volts. They had a complication at the subdural effusion, uh, subdural hematoma, and the other complication they had a uh, hypothermia as a result to avoid temperature fluctuation, the stimulation parameters of the 1.5 volts, 20 hertz, and 90 microseconds were set and maintained for the patient. The outcomes uh, included the baseline. With, uh, at the baseline, this patient had severe dementia, indicated by a clinical dementia rate of 3.0 points. After 10 weeks of nucleobasal Maynard stimulation, 
cognitive evaluation were also conducted compared to the baseline assessment the patient displayed at the improvement in the Alzheimer disease assessment scale, cognitive subscale, and a code from 43 to 33 points, with change in word recall. Uh, one less point reduction, name objects uh, and fingers one less point reduction, name objects and finger one less point reduction, commands two less point reduction, constructional apparatus two less point reduction, ideational apparatus two less point reduction, word recognition task three less point reduction, and remembering test instruction one less point reduction, suggesting a significant improvement with nucleobasalis of Maynard deep brain stimulation in the short term. You can see the, the tests in the outcomes before or in the baseline and after stimulation. And you can see that he complete a circle uh, she Increase his uh, results, his skills to draw, to draw, and uh, the scales uh, 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 made it in the baseline, showing the increase uh, uh, outcomes. Uh, Mini mental state examination score improved from 5 to 9 points with an improvement in location ability. Motor cognitive assessment score increased from a score of 2 to a score of 4 with improvements in both attention and orientation. The patient executive function structure identification and the imitation also improved and he could remember the names of his children during nucleobasalis of Maynard deep brain stimulation something he could not do before deep brain stimulation his wife also reported such improvement however she uh, did not feel substantial changes during daily life. A caregiver was still needed. This study has demonstrated that nucleobasalis of major deep brain stimulation was effective in this case of advanced stage Alzheimer's disease, and despite initial Perioperative complication, we observed a marked improvement in this, the patient's cognitive function in the short term, a uh, 23.3% decrease in ADAS COG scoring without any changes to the patient medication. In previous study, uh, the targeting region for the electrodes were not specified who at all and the Balderman. Uh, so the results could not be differentiated according to the nucleobasalis of Maynard areas and the potentially effective region were unclear. In these studies the posterior area we, uh, was target uh, posterior cholinergic neurons project to the temporal poles and superior temporal region. So any improvement should be correlated with the temporal region function and closely related to memory. Der Smith et al. suggests that nucleobasalis of Maynard DBS has a positive impact on sensory gating into memory with a beneficial effect on the recognition 
of familiar stimuli. Increasingly, the patient's post-operative improvements, including word recall, word recognition task, and the naming of objects, were all related to memory functions. In these patients, PET imaging showed fewer beta amyloid deposits in temporal region, which may have contributed to his improvement. However, according to the BRAC staging, uh, the most severe Alzheimer's disease patients were similar to this patient, with fewer beta amyloid deposits in temporal brain region, suggests that similar improvements should also be possible in other advanced stage patients. Strongly, the dorsal cortex white matter in this patient seemed to have more beta amyloid than the gray matter. We interpret these findings to be a possible manifestation of end stage disease as a distribution of amyloid deposits in the white matter have been correlated with blood vessels. Iwamoto et al. Sharimou. There may be more blood vessels damaged with beta amyloid deposits in end stage disease and severe atrophy of the brain could lead to more perivascular space with more beta deposits. In addition, soluble beta amyloid levels may simple be high in white matter in eight stages in Alzheimer's disease. Previous study, studies have demonstrated that the nucleobasalis of main Maynard degenerates, thus decreasing arch release in Alzheimer's patient, but stimulation of the Maynard may increase ash re acetylcholine release in the cortex uh, published by Kuhl and by Great White. In the past, nucleobasalis of Maynard DBS was not recommended for severe Alzheimer's patients because of the few surviving neurons in nucleobasalis of Maynard. However, the current study suggests that NBM DBS might increase acetylcholine release and improve cognitive function, even in patients with severely compromised and NBMs, uh, the posterior and nucleobasalis of mental area group of neurons is considered to suffer the most severe loss of cholinergic cells in Alzheimer's patients, but these patients, the results demonstrate that DBS stimulation of the posterior region was still efficacious, although we cannot exclude the possibility of anatomical individuality for this patient. The complication uh, subdural uh, uh, okay, fusion after the alleged implantation possible related to advanced aging and severe brain atrophy. Overall, subdural effusion have been reported to be higher in many occur as a result of subdural manipulation. Although postoperative subdural effusion did did occur, the patient did recover from them. As thermoregulatory disorders occurred in this patient during the initi initiation of stimulation and with adjustments of stimulation pa parameters, and pathological markers of Alzheimer's have been found in the hypothalamus which could account for the thermoregulatory dysfunction. And the uh, uh, stimulation of the NBM may have made it worse, 
with severe brain atrophy. The distance between the NBM and the, the hypothalamus is reduced and increases the likelihood of aberrant stimulation effects in the hypothalamus. Another possible explanation is that an increase of acetylcholine due to NBM DPS stimulation may have affect code sensors, uh, leading to a change in body temperature based on the temperature data for this patient we postulate that neurostimulation initiation. Limitation as Shu and Ponce 2018 argued, the choice of stimulation parameters of NBM DBS has been somewhat arbitrarily derived from animal models. Varying stimulation settings may significantly impact the biological effects on of therapy. We choose stimulation parameters just according to the study by Ku et al. Uh, this might not be the most effective parameters, uh, variable parameters should be tested in future studies. In this study, only one Alzheimer's disease patient with severe disease are, was treated with and BM DBS, so generalized conclusion cannot be drawn. Besides, it is a pitch that postoperative PET, which is a powerful tool to show metabolic changes and to elucidate the mechanism of cognitive changes after and BM DBS, was not implemented on this patient. Data from additional patients are being collected to confirm these results and future studies will explore the child mechanisms underlying the affected NBM DBS severe stage Alzheimer's patients. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much.